All right, we got a golf outing coming up. Uh, I can't golf, but I'm going to take part in it just because I know it's going to be a good time and a great community event and a fundraiser for something I took part in as a kid down in the suburbs of St. Louis, and that's the Boys and Girls Club. And joining us to talk about that here on the WMAY Morning News Feed is Tiffany Mathis with the Boys and Girls Club of Central Illinois. Tiffany, thanks for taking time. How are you? Good. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I saw you post about this, a save the date of sorts. Yeah. Uh, give us the overview. What are we looking at? So this is going to be our second annual golf outing. We had an amazing time last year. It's going to be at Bun Golf Course on May 13th. Um, it'll begin, registration will begin at 11. Um, and we just have an amazing day playing golf, hanging out, having a good time with friends and just, you know, celebrating boys and girls clubs and raising money uh, for our organization. So we're really excited. I can't golf. I can't uh, either. Every time I go out with a friend, he's like, you know, I got to practice. I got to practice. And there I am losing all of his balls. Uh-huh, so absolutely. For, for those of us who can't golf. Uh, you this could be is, like me and just ride around. That, that sounds good. And hand out like drink that. tickets. Yeah, that, that sounds good. <laughs> Uh, so, again, May 13th is the save of the date. Yes. Um, people are going to be able to register for this win. Right. So, we should open up registration in the next couple of weeks so that foursomes can get um, can start signing up. Corporate sponsors can reach out to us because we're definitely looking for corporate sponsors to help out with the event and for specialty holes or even event sponsorships, swag bags that we'll hand out. Um, it's a really, really great time. So we've got, of course, uh, an important uh, function of the Boys and Girls Club offering up those uh, after-school services, mm-hmm. those summertime services. Uh, this is going to be a way to help raise funds for those types of programs. Yeah, and a lot of people haven't realized yet, but we are now the second largest Boys and Girls Club organization in the state. Uh, we have grown to 22 locations since November of 2020, um, and we have expanded into Jacksonville, Illinois School District there, District 117, in addition to District 186. So uh, we're really super excited about that. And once we get a capacity, that's 2,200 kids a day, about 250 staff. So it's it's a lot. Now, I remember when I was a kid, it was always, you know, there, there were pool tables. There were, you know, ping pong tables. There were uh, different types of programs. Yeah. Uh, we had a little league football club Mm -hmm. uh, where I went. Um, What are some of the things to expect for not just this spring, but even this summer? Well, in spring, you know, we start to kick off Lego League. We've got um, different programs that go on. And, you know, a lot of our our locations look different when it comes to programs that they're running. Uh, St. Patrick's Unit that we're in has a really robust um, tap dancing program. We have ballet at the central unit. So, you know, there's a lot that goes on and they kind of look different depending on, you know, what um, their focus on their program is. But we do have summer program coming up. Registration will begin, I believe, the Monday after Easter. Um, and we'll start enrollment. We take up to about 125 kids. It fills up really, really fast. So I just encourage people to follow our Facebook page um, so that they know when we've launched that. But it's exciting. And you're going to want to also know when they launch the registration for the golf outing that's coming up, save the date, May 13th. It's on a Friday. Uh, so definitely you want to make sure that you get that lined up. It could make for some uh, some interesting times, <laughs> especially it being Friday the 13th. Absolutely. So, uh, looking forward to that. But the save the date, get it now, because once you guys do open up that registration, you expect this to just fly off the shelves. Yeah, shots. it sold out pretty quickly last year. So we know that um, we'll, we'll be a capacity with golfers, which is a great problem to have, right? <laughs> um, we're always very grateful to Bun Golf Course and, you know, the Park District for helping support our efforts in that. But yeah, it's it's a great time. Tiffany Mathis with us. She is the executive director, uh-huh. right, of the Girls and Boys Club of Central Illinois talking about their golf outing May 13th. Uh, tickets will be available soon. We uh, will likely connect with Tiffany again uh, whenever that launches. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, they're also looking for corporate sponsorships. Yes. Tell yes. us about that. So uh, corporate sponsors, you know, can definitely get in touch with myself or Deanne French. At Boys and Girls Clubs, you can look us up on the website and also our Facebook page. Um, But we're definitely looking for support in sponsoring the event as well as just, you know, giving those uh, sponsorships to promote our event as well and, and, uh, you know, draw crowds in. And some corporate sponsors even uh, sponsor foursomes for us for those that may not be able to do that so that we get a really good showing. But it's a very, really, really great collective community event. Um, Lots of really great people. Are all there so i'm excited about it it's gonna be a good time and again if you can't golf like me <laughs> and uh me. you can still go and help out and raise funds and, absolutely uh, yeah we have different raffles that'll go on um we will have another golf cart raffle as well so uh you know we 
had a custom built golf cart last year. So that'll be something that we'll be promoting over the summer. And, oh my you know, gosh. So there's so a lot people, coming. You can raffle to win that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's it's awesome. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. So you don't um, want to miss it. So again, uh, food and drinks going to be available yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. So uh, it'll start with a lunch uh, that'll get served first thing in the morning. There are drink tickets. There's a cooler that you'll get. Um, it's a really, really great time. Uh, just, you know, really looking forward to a lot of specialty holes. I'll save those surprises for later. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we just really want to encourage everybody to come out and play. A lot of people were disappointed that they couldn't get in last year. So now's your time yeah. to know it's coming. We're giving you advance notice that uh, the, the the time's coming for whenever yes. they do open up the registration. And if, uh, if you don't uh, make it, you're going to be missing out on not just uh, having a good time, but raising funds for Boys and Girls Club of yeah. Central Illinois. Very, very, very vital for us. Tiffany Mathis with us. Uh, and, again, this give us the overview here. The, it, we're letting people know now. Yeah. Uh, tickets are going to be happening soon. Yeah. Uh, but uh, tell us what's happening and when. So it'll be the foursomes for our um, annual golf outing is coming up. It's on May 13th once again. Um, it is $400 for a foursome, so $100 a person. And uh, that's all inclusive of everything that you're going to need to have a good time and then some. So check out our Facebook page. Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Illinois for pictures from last year um, and just kind of stay tuned for what's coming. But we're looking forward for summer programs starting, you know, to get our kids back and, act and active. So it's going to be a really, really great summer. We're excited. Beyond the fundraiser here, how can the community help out and support? Is it volunteering? Is it yeah. uh, cash donations? How else can the community help? Well, there's a myriad of ways that people can support Boys and Girls Clubs. It is in volunteerism and completing one of our volunteer background check forms and getting that, um, you know, put in. It's, you know, wanting to coach a uh, flag football at Central Unit. It could be hosting an ice cream social in the summer. Uh, we've had companies bring um, snow cone trucks for the day for the kids. It could be in, you know, monetary donations that we can do whatever we need to do in order to get supplies or, you know, whatever programs are going on. So there's a million and one ways that you can give to the club. We're excited for any, you know, potential partnerships, anyone that wants to kind of come in and see what we're doing. Uh, we have a lot going on and we're just really proud of our growth and that we continue to make an impact in this community it's really important to support our youth well especially after the past two years uh, uh -huh. youth seem to have been I, I know that covid impacted the elderly and those with comorbidities yeah. the most but it, you can't diminish the impact it's had on youth and their psychology yeah and uh, their interaction and just being yeah. able to see faces and that's why you know even serving on the school board was so very intent on making sure that people understood that side of things and that's why we stayed open at boys and girls club we, we will do whatever we can so that people know that we are here and that we are kid-focused and mission-driven in the things that we're doing, and that's what we will continue to do. We will make it happen, and clubs get it done. So I'm very excited about, you know, uh, the next school year as well. Well, we're looking forward to more about the uh, the golf outing, and we'll have Tiffany back on to talk about that whenever they uh, launch the tickets. But I, I doubt there will need to be much promotion because it likely will fill up quick. So Very, very uh, quick. <laughs> appreciate it. Again, the, the Facebook page. Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Illinois, and we are so excited for this golf outing. Um, it's just going to be a great time. Thumbs up. Can't All right. It enough. Tiffany, thank you. Appreciate it. We'll talk again soon, okay? Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. It is the WMAY Morning News Feed now.